Good morning, y'all, and welcome back to my channel, and more importantly, welcome to the new series that I'm going to start on my channel, which is Renovating Holbeck House, where we will be tackling renovations one by one on our 100-year-old historic house in Dallas, Texas. We lived in our house a little over a year now, and we've done a good amount of projects, like completely demoing our master bathroom, adding a closet room, turning our garage into a home gym, and the most recent project, the backyard. I want to start documenting all of of our DIY projects and our really big renovations and sharing all the nitty gritty of what it looks like to completely renovate a home. Welcome to episode one where I'm going to give our guest room and my most hated room a complete and much needed makeover. Welcome to the room in our house that I absolutely despise. Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we have a very fun video. I decided I kind of want to do a series that is like called Holbeck House, which is obviously our home. We do so many projects around here and I'm really bad at filming them, but like it is DIY and like home improvement is my passion, okay? I love it so much. And you know what? I was like, let's start out with a banger. This is our guest bedroom, okay? It's like right next to our room. I see it every single day. This is the bathroom that people use when they like walk like it's the it's the guest bathroom, okay? I hate this room. I hate how I've designed it. I it nothing goes together. It's just the catch-all room. Like everything get just gets thrown in this room and it's so messy. It doesn't have a vibe. So when people come here, I want them to feel at home, peace, vibey. And like right now it's not giving that. It's giving I'm staying in a closet, I'm staying in a storage room. I use this closet to store um some of my clothes. Bronson uses our closet. And the closet system in here is just a disaster. I can't even put it into words. It just is like falling apart. It's horrible. So I want to tell you some of the things that we're going to do to this room. Okay, prepare yourself. Oh, dude. <laughs> it's horrible. It's so horrible. These rods up here are like hanging on by a thread. Obviously, it's not organized in the slightest with clothes, but like these rods, I'm like, I don't even know how they're holding this up, to be honest. So this just all needs good makeover. So here's the plan. I've ordered new rods on Amazon. Those come in in a few days. I want to go get some two by fours, put them on the wall and make it way more sturdy. So that means we're gonna be using power tools, which I love. I also think it would be really fun to paint all of the trim and like the wood blocks in this, in this room. I really think it would be fun to paint it all one color, which I wanna go for like a more moody, maybe like a brownish color. Not super crazy, but you know. A brown. Next up is this dresser. I found this dresser on Facebook Marketplace. It was an absolute steal. I love her. It's vintage. Um, I can't remember the name, but it's like a vintage designer. I'm sorry. I hate the orange though. I absolutely hate it. And I have a meaning to sand this down and kind of get it like more of like a light oaky color like our floors are, or maybe make it look like a little bit heathered. That is project number two of the room. Project number three I said is painting. So we're going to paint the entire room, possibly the ceiling as well. I just want it to feel like a vibe in here. We need to get some new curtains. Obviously the core will be upgraded. We have four big projects to do. Let's get into it. Okay, so you can really see how just old this is. Like this is like multiple different rods. So like and these are so skinny, like they barely even hold up any clothes and like this is like not even attached. Like it just it you know, it needs to be upgraded and that's okay. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get the job done. So I'm gonna take all this out and just basically like clear out the closet. Like I think it just needs a fresh a fresh revamp and then we can start actually renovating. Wait, wait, what's the plan? Taking all this down. And then what? There's this pillow that I use for like one day. It's deadly hot out here. We have made it to this little place I'd like to call Home Depot, aka my second home. We have a few things to get. I'm gonna be quite honest with you. Two by four, screws, a stud finder, paint, roller, sandpaper, possibly stain, plastic tarp, hammer, and light bulb. So I'm gonna have to be pushing around one of those big old orange carts, which is fine. They're just, you know. I actually just remembered I should have brought Bronson's trucks. I don't know if the two by fours are gonna fit in here. Well, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> I'm too 
confusing between these two. I can't tell what the stain is gonna look like on that wood because I haven't taken off, obviously, the current one. But I like, I like the, I think I like this one, but I'm gonna get this one just in case. I don't know if I'm getting the right thing. These are 10 feet long and I need 140. Could work, it wouldn't go all the way to the end. Yeah, this should work. They fit, boy, literally by like an inch. They barely fit in the car, but they did it. I'm so proud. Okay. Slay. Okay, one thing I'm absolutely horrible at is finding studs. Like any project I do, I can't even hang a mirror because I'm like, I don't know how to find studs. I've done the knocking trick. I know it's like every 16 inches or something like that, but I just can never find them. So I got one of these, it's a stud finder, and hopefully it will find me some studs, you know what I'm saying? Because I have to find the studs to then screw in that wood board to then hang my rod to it. Bruh. Dude, this thing sucks. So you're telling me there's no studs on that wall? That's impossible, bro. Do I do it wrong? I don't really think you can do it wrong. Yeah, I finally found studs. Basically, as high as you can. And it's just I like big butts and I cannot lie. Okay, step number one, put up these boards in the closet, done. It was honestly pretty easy besides finding the studs. That was honestly the hardest part, but once we found them, it was like pretty seamless. Here's what it kind of looks like. Obviously it's on both sides of the closet, runs the total length. Step number two is to now paint them. I was gonna paint the entire closet, but to be honest, I don't wanna do that. So we're just gonna paint the wood and I'm just gonna do this like basic white. So that's up next. Okay, day two update. I have started painting the wall. I'm probably gonna paint the whole thing, but the pieces of wood are looking really good. I'm just waiting on the bar, which is gonna come Monday. So I'm gonna put a pause on the closet reno. This is as far as I can get. Okay, and then I'm actually gonna put on our new mattress and like the cover of it right now because all of my clothes are out in the rest of our house and it's a bit chaotic. So I kind of want to bring them in here and like put them on the bed and then cover it with the tarp before I paint. Is it the smartest move? I don't know, but that's just what I'm gonna do right now. Let's unbox a new mattress. I'm very excited because it's like this hybrid type of mattress and I've heard really good things about it. <laughs> Thank you, Bear, for sending us this brand new hybrid mattress. It is the perfect touch for making this a cozy space for our guests. I love Bear because the mattress ships right to your door. It's super easy to set up and it is so comfortable, as you'll see from my first reaction. They're also created without harmful chemicals and use a salient powered fabric to help you stay cool while you sleep. They also have a quiz online that you can take and based on your answers, it will match you up with a specific mattress that they think will fit you best. Bear mattresses are also fiberglass free, which I really appreciate because they are better for your overall health. And actually have a discount link in my description if you're looking for a new mattress i highly highly recommend trying out the bear specifically the hybrid mattress i'm obsessed with it these are the pillows <laughs> that's so funny to me how do they even get this stuff so squished like okay wait this is so nice wait i honestly want this mattress <laughs> Dude, they grow so fast. That's crazy. I fear I've made a grave mistake. I went and got some paint from Home Depot. I, I chose the colors very meticulously. I looked at so many different browns. So many different browns. And uh, let me just show you. Let me just show you. Actually, you know what? On camera, it does not look as bad. In person, I feel like it looks so 
poopy, literally poopy poop color. But on camera, it kind of, it leans a little, little bit gray, which is what I wanted. Like not so warm, like a little bit cooler of a brown. It's called like coconut something. Like the actual swatch was very gray in comparison to all these other ones that I got. Like that one's way too gray in my opinion. This one was the other choice, but it is like very dark and I just didn't think I wanted something that dark in here. So I ended up picking, it's not even in this this group of them, but it's called Coconut Shell, I'm pretty sure. And it's similar to this one, like a dark-ish, but not crazy dark taupey color. Oh, also, I haven't even showed you. I ended up doing, sanding this down and like, I got, you guys saw, I got like a whitewash stain, but this type of wood just takes stain so strange. I do like it better than the orange. Like it gives off like a lighter color. It just turned out very, very grainy, which I think could look cool. But anyways, that's how it turned out. And I'm, I don't know how I'm feeling about it. Just like, I don't know how I'm feeling about the uh, paint color. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna do this wall. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna see how it looks on a full wall. I think I might like it a little better. And then, We'll get some decor up in here and it should, you know, it should start coming together. But I ended up getting some like striped sheet sets from Amazon. Honestly, they are not the best quality, but um, I just like the little stripes. I thought I added a little, a little pop. This is not how I'm gonna do this. You know, I just threw them on there. And I think they look okay, but I'm looking, give me your best like sheets recommendations. I honestly have not tried a ton of sheets brands and I feel like I'm very, I don't know, when it comes to sheets. You are a sleepy girl. You are a sleepy girl. You've been swimming in the pool, huh? Yeah, you get sleepy because you're swimming in the pool all the time, but you love it. Okay, this project has taken me way longer than I thought. I have officially done one wall. I'm gonna do the rest of the room. I'm gonna do the rest of the room. Um, I've decided I'm just going to stick stick with the brown. Do I think it's a little bit poopy of a color? Yes, I do, but I've already bought the paint and I've already done one wall, so I can't change it now. And eventually, I think I said this already, but like this is gonna be a nursery eventually. I don't, like I don't wanna do the trim and the ceiling and like everything, even though I think that that would actually look make it look better, like more elevated. But I don't I don't wanna have brown trim and a brown ceiling when I have to like repaint the room or get it repainted for a nursery. So I'm like, you know what? We're just gonna do the whole, all the walls, not the ceiling, not the trim. And I think it's gonna look good. I'm not gonna show you anymore cause we're gonna wait for the final reveal. I have a lot more to do in this room. Like I have to finish painting all the walls and I'm honestly sick of it. So I wanna finish it today. So I need to just like grind it out. I will say, I went to the Crate and Barrel outlet yesterday and I love fans and rooms because they're practical and like when we go to sell the house, I'll probably, I'm just gonna store this and like put it back up. But for now, I love a light fixture in a room. I think it like makes the ceilings look taller because it doesn't hang down, especially if it's flush. And this one I found at the outlet and it was 60% off and it's just like this beautiful, like woven material. And I think it's gonna look really, really good in here. So I'm gonna put this up and then I'm going to paint the wall and then maybe like little decor things. And then it will be time to show you the final reveal. What did I say? Reveal. I might have stopped my teeth too, I just ate breakfast. Honestly, I didn't say anything. Today is the day I am finally finishing the guest room renovation. I just went to Home Goods and I picked up a few little decor items. I'm finally on to decorating which is honestly the funnest part um so i picked up some goodies one of them being a very large mirror like a very large mirror it did not it it barely by the skin of your teeth is that the phrase the skin of your teeth barely fit in my car like the light the the guy helping me out was like, I don't think you should drive home with this. Like, that's not very smart. And I had to drive like 30 minutes and did it almost crack a few times? I heard some in the background. Yes, but I believe it's not cracked and we made it. So let me show you a few things that we got and then we can do the big reveal. Oh, sorry, I can't sit down, I'll just sit down. It's not big, big, big. Okay, besides that, big old honker. Let me show you what I got. This pot, so cute and textured. Finding a throw pillow was so hard. They did not have a lot of good options. 
But this one was pretty much the only one I could find. It's like a brown velvet and then the back is like a linen. I ended up getting two new pillows just for like the front, just, just for guests. And then I got three little picture frames that I wanna put like all of our family framed in these because like they're the main ones that are gonna be staying in there. This one is gorgeous. It's like bone inlay and it is so pretty. This one, it's, it's like a black frame, so I don't know how well it's actually gonna go in there, but I just like the little scallop details on it. And then this one is again, just like a textured like linen material and I really like this one. And then I liked this little book. It was Scandi Rustic, which honestly I really try and mimic a lot of my stuff from like Scandinavian style of homes. Like I love that style. I just love like the use of textures and furs and just how it's like modern, but there's just a lot of textures as well. And that's it. Now it's time to decorate. I will meet back up with you soon and show you the final product of the guest room transformation. the poop room okay it's only because everyone on my Instagram story said that the color that I chose looked like poop and you know what were they wrong not really but I think it's not really good I actually am really pleased with it I think with a lot of warm lighting it brings out the fabulousness of the brown room I really like it I feel like it completed the cozy vibe that I was really going for in this room. And I think friends and family are really gonna enjoy staying in this room. Uh, if you notice that I didn't paint the top next to the ceiling, uh, you are correct because I didn't want to finish it. I got lazy, didn't finish it. I will finish it eventually, just I didn't have time to do it before this video. So whatever, it's no big deal. Honestly, I love the way that this turned out. I think the coloring of it is honestly really good with the floor. I love how bright out like the grain in the wood and then all of like just the little details like scoot that back everything just came together perfectly I feel like it's a really good mix of like traditional and modern I actually found these sconces at the West Elm outlet for $35 and I'm amazed I love them the brown pillow she turned out very very cute and then I must say the star of the show which is this beautiful mirror I got it at home goods which is just an elite find at home goods it's really giving anthropology with that traditional detailing i'm just obsessed with it i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i personally loved making this video like editing it was so fun filming it was so fun interior design is honestly a very big passion of mine that i feel like i share a little bit of it but i don't really go into detail like in another life i would literally like do this for a living not kidding i guess i kind of do but i really just do it for like my own home obviously if you want me to share more about like our home renovations all of the projects that we're doing around the house like i would love that i just want to know if you guys think this is interesting or not um but i do want to make this a series because we have our entire house to do like we our house is 100 years old we bought it knowing we'd have to fix it up we've done a lot of the backyard which i need to do a video on that and like recap everything i have all the footage i just need to like put it together and kind of just show you guys all the projects that we've done this is the full one that i've like documented vlog style though so if you like this please let me know please give this video a thumbs up because it will let me know that you like these types of videos i hope you guys enjoyed this one i'll see you in the next vlog I love you so much.